Have you ever stopped to wonder how the wealthiest people in the world got to where they are? Have you ever looked at a billionaire like Elon Musk and thought to yourself, how did they do it? It must have been luck, or they were born into wealth, or they cheated their way to the top. It's easy to feel envious and resentful when we see others achieving financial success, especially when we feel like we're struggling just to make ends meet. But what if I told you that there's a way to get there too. What if I said that there's a science behind the way money works and there's a formula for building wealth? It won't be easy and there will be struggles along the way. But for those who are willing to put in the work and persevere through the challenges, the reward at the end is the freedom and security that comes with financial abundance. So, are you ready to learn the secrets of wealth and take control of your financial future. Let's dive in. Have you ever stopped to think about what money really means to you? Do you see it as something you work hard for? Or do you believe it's all about luck? Maybe you think it's the root of all evil as shown by the media, or you just really want to have more of it. No matter what you believe, it's likely that your thoughts about money have been influenced by your upbringing and the environment you grew up in. But here's the thing, most of what we're told about money is wrong. We've been taught that it's all about getting a good job and earning a high salary, but that's not the whole story. In fact, if you want to make a lot of money in a short amount of time, that's not the way to do it. Think about it this way. We all have a limited resource, the most important resource of all, and once it's gone, we can't get it back. And that resource is time. If you're working a standard job, the amount of money you make is dependent on the amount of time you put in. But if you earn $20 an hour and work 40 hours a week, it would take you nearly 24 years to make $1 million. And that's without subtracting taxes or expenses or taking into account inflation. So how do some people become self-made millionaires and billionaires at such young ages? What do they know that we don't? The truth is that they have a different equation for understanding money. They figured out a way to make money that most of us haven't grasped yet. But here's the good news. You can learn this equation too. So. Are you ready to learn the secrets of wealth and take control of your financial future? Stop chasing money in a capitalist society. In a capitalist society, your worth is based on the value you provide to the market. This includes consumers like you, your friends, your family, and your neighbors. 
For example, let's say you're a graphic designer. If you're good at your job and there is a high demand for graphic design services, you'll be able to command a higher fee for your work. On the other hand, if you're just starting out, or the market is oversaturated with graphic designers, you may have to accept lower pay. But here's the thing, relying on a job alone will not make you wealthy. In fact, it can take decades to build significant wealth through a traditional job. So, how do some people become millionaires and billionaires at a young age? The first step to building wealth is simple. If you want money, solve problems. Think about it. Almost all money comes from solving problems. Apple creates products that make people's lives easier and more convenient. Nike produces high-quality athletic wear that helps athletes perform better. And Uber revolutionized the way we get around by solving the problem of unreliable and expensive taxis. You want to build wealth. Start by identifying a problem that you can solve. It doesn't have to be a world-changing problem. It can be as simple as a need for a better detergent powder or a more effective workout routine. Once you've found a solution, create a business around it. With hard work and dedication, you can turn your idea into a profitable venture. So, don't waste any more time chasing money. Instead, focus on solving problems and building a successful business. With the right mindset and a willingness to take risks, you can achieve the financial freedom you've always dreamed of. The final step in building wealth is finding a scalable solution to a problem. This means that your solution should be able to impact a large number of people. For example, starting a restaurant might not be scalable because it is limited to the local area and the number of customers that come in. However, a franchise is more scalable because it can be replicated in multiple locations. If your solution is a piece of software, it can be scaled infinitely online without worrying about production or shipping costs. It's important to have a scalable business model. This means that you can grow your business without putting in more time or effort. For example, starting a local consulting firm might not be scalable because it is limited to the local area. But if you create an online consulting platform that can be accessed by people around the world, that is scalable. To make your business run smoothly, it's also a good idea to use automation and systems. For example, let's say you own an e-commerce store. You can use automation to handle tasks like sending confirmation emails to customers or updating inventory levels. This frees up your time to focus on more important tasks, like finding new products to sell or improving the customer experience. And don't forget to make your solution accessible to as many people as possible. By focusing on scalability, automation, and accessibility, you can turn your solution into a profitable business. Your solution needs to be scalable, automated, and accessible to as many people as possible. By focusing on these, you can turn your solution into a thriving business that can bring you the financial freedom you've always dreamed of. Once you've found your solution, you'll face a decision. Do you continue running your business or do you cash it yourself? This is the moment of acquisition. When someone buys the solution that you spent years building a business around, just think about the success stories. Instagram being acquired by Facebook for $1 billion, PayPal being sold to eBay for $1.5 billion, and the countless other liquidation events that happen around the world. This is where all your hard work pays off and you can reap the rewards of your efforts. But maybe 
You don't want to sell, maybe you love the company you've built and want to continue running. Or perhaps you think you can add even more value to the company and sell it for an even higher price down the line. Or maybe you've created a business that runs passively in the background, requiring minimal effort to keep the wheels turning. Whatever your reasons, the choice is yours. Ultimately, the most important lesson to take away from all of this isn't about the nature of money itself. It's about the valuable resource we all have that we can never get back, and it's time. Is it worth sacrificing a large chunk of your time for a job you may not even enjoy? Are you content with the cycle of working, coming home, and repeating the same routine day after day until retirement? Or do you want something more? The freedom to do what you want and when you want, without ever having to worry about anything. And there is your equation to wealth. Of course, I missed out on a lot of topics in this video. Like the topics of business money and entrepreneurship are far too vast for me to cover in a single video. You must focus on finding solutions to problems. This can involve starting a business that solves the problem or finding ways to monetize your current job or career by solving more problems. However, it's important to remember that many people will not succeed in this pursuit and that it's okay to fail as long as you learn from your mistakes and move on to the next thing. A good resource to read for inspiration and guidance on this journey is the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Ultimately, the key is to stop obsessing over money and instead focus on problems. Stop chasing money and stop chasing solutions to problems.